volcanic eruption that could happen by the end of the year. This is the best studied underwater volcano in the world right now. It's a massive underwater volcano about 300 miles off the Oregon coast. And nearly scientists at UW's Cabled Array, one of the largest ocean observatories in the world monitoring this active volcano, have seen potential eruption signs the last few months. An increase in earthquakes flating due to buildup of magma. Do people need unlikely for the underwater eruption to trigger a tsunami, a major earthquake, or cause extinct especially not as explosive like the last notable eruption in Washington. Axial Seamount is an underwater volcano, one of the largest in the world, located off the Oregon coast. Discovered in the 1990s, it went largely unnoticed for years. But in 2011, its eruption shocked the scientific community. The volcano, sitting 1,500 meters below the surface, released lava, reshaping the ocean floor. The ocean was suddenly active in ways no one could have predicted. In the years since, Axial Seamount has been eerily quiet until now. Recent seismic activity has spiked, leading scientists to believe the volcano may erupt again. With its powerful eruptions, the risk to nearby coastal cities is rising. What makes this volcano so dangerous isn't just its size. It's the unpredictability and the terrifying consequences an eruption could have. Axial Seamount is part of the Cascadia subduction zone, where two tectonic plates meet. This is where the earthquake and volcanic activity begin. Pressure builds up over time, and when it's released, it causes an eruption. Scientists have been monitoring this for years, but recent data suggests the pressure beneath the surface is reaching critical levels. This means the eruption could happen sooner than expected. The volcano's eruption in 2011 was a warning sign. Since then, there have been tremors and signs of renewed activity. Geologists are now on high alert, carefully watching for any signs that might indicate an imminent eruption. The unpredictable nature of this volcano leaves scientists with more questions than answers, making this a waiting game for everyone involved. An eruption of Axial Seamount wouldn't just be a local event. The eruption could trigger a massive tsunami, reaching the Oregon coastline within minutes. Coastal cities like Portland, Seattle, and San Francisco could be in danger. Even though Axial Seamount is underwater, its power could be felt far beyond the ocean. The risks are higher than most realize. Tsunamis from underwater eruptions are unpredictable but deadly. The last eruption in 2011 sent shockwaves through the scientific community, with many experts warning about the potential for more catastrophic events. If an eruption were to occur, the effects could cause widespread destruction, loss of life, and impact the environment for years. Time is running out and the clock is ticking. Recent seismic readings from Axial Seamount show an unusual spike in activity. For the first time in years, the volcano is making its presence known, with increased tremors and lava flow detected beneath the ocean. Some scientists believe this could be the beginning of a major eruption. The question is, when will it happen and how can we prepare? This spike in seismic activity has prompted scientists to issue warnings but there is still no way of predicting exactly when the volcano will erupt. However, they agree that it's only a matter of time. Axial Seamount's history of eruptions suggests that it's overdue and the chances of a major eruption are higher than ever. This uncertainty is what makes the situation so dangerous. Axial Seamount is located along the Cascadia subduction zone, a place where two tectonic plates collide. This zone is notorious for creating powerful earthquakes and volcanic activity. The plates are slowly moving and the pressure is building beneath them. When this pressure finally releases, it could be catastrophic for the entire region. The Cascadia subduction zone is an area that has been under intense observation. The effects of an eruption here could be felt all along the west coast, potentially triggering a series of earthquakes and tsunamis. Scientists have been preparing for this moment for decades but despite their best efforts, no one is sure exactly when or how it will happen. If Axial Seamount erupts, it could have global consequences. Not only would the local coastline be destroyed, but the eruption could affect the global climate. The massive amount of ash and gases 
released into the atmosphere could cause cooling, disrupting weather patterns, and leading to crop failures worldwide. This eruption is not just a regional concern, it's a potential global disaster. The eruption could also affect marine life in the region. The sudden release of magma and gases into the ocean would disrupt the delicate ecosystem. This could lead to a domino effect, impacting everything from local fishing industries to global food supplies. The immediate effects would be devastating, but the long-term consequences could change the way we live forever. One of the most terrifying consequences of an eruption at Axial Seamount would be the tsunami. These waves, triggered by the displacement of water from the eruption, could race across the Pacific Ocean, reaching the West Coast within minutes. The devastation caused by a tsunami of this magnitude could dwarf anything seen before, wiping out entire cities in seconds. Tsunamis generated by underwater volcanoes are often more powerful than those caused by earthquakes. Axial seamount's size and location make it a perfect candidate for a massive wave. Coastal areas that were once thought to be safe could find themselves underwater with little warning. The preparation for such an event has been lacking, but now experts are scrambling to devise a plan. Despite the potential danger posed by Axial Seamount, the West Coast remains underprepared. Emergency response systems are limited, and evacuation plans for coastal cities haven't been fully tested. While scientists are aware of the risks, the infrastructure needed to protect millions of people from a tsunami or volcanic eruption is still in the early stages. In the event of an eruption, the people living in these coastal cities will be on their own. There simply isn't enough time to evacuate everyone in a safe and organized manner. Cities like Portland and Seattle are at risk, and if a tsunami hits, many could be caught off guard. The lack of preparedness is a serious issue, and authorities need to take immediate action. Although we cannot prevent an eruption at Axial Seamount, there are steps we can take to protect ourselves. Scientists recommend staying alert to seismic activity and developing emergency evacuation plans. Coastal cities need to create early warning systems and ensure that residents know how to react when disaster strikes. Awareness and preparedness are key to surviving such a catastrophe. One of the most important actions that can be taken is to strengthen coastal defenses. Building seawalls and reinforcing structures could reduce the damage caused by tsunamis. Coastal residents must also be educated on evacuation procedures and how to react when a tsunami warning is issued. This proactive approach could save thousands of lives. As we continue to monitor the situation at Axial Seamount, the clock is ticking. Scientists are unsure when the eruption will occur, but the signs are clear. We are running out of time. The Pacific Coast is at risk, and the effects of a volcanic eruption or tsunami could be catastrophic. We must act now to prepare before it's too late. The threat of Axial Seamount is real and urgent, but there's hope. If we stay informed, stay prepared, and support efforts to protect our coastal cities, we can minimize the destruction. It's up to all of us to be ready for what's coming. This is more than just a natural disaster. It's a call to action. If you found this as shocking as we did, don't leave without subscribing. We bring you breaking updates on Earth's most dangerous secrets before it's too late. Hit that bell icon because the next disaster might not give us a warning.